Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from Kaiser. Uh, Jeremy over there at Kaiser, who I met at Blade Show Atlanta and did an interview with, you probably saw that interview, and was talking about some of the new knives, was gonna send a little box with maybe a couple of knives, possibly for giveaways and, and for me to check out, maybe just loaner knives, so I may have to send them back, right? I'm hoping that some cool stuff we get to share. Um, I don't know if any of it's for me, if it's giveaways, whatever it is, but let's take a look together, okay? So Jeremy, he's the guy from Kaiser. He does the Kaiser um, um, live stream. If you check him out Wednesday, every once in a while on Wednesdays, he has it. Today I'm opening up with my nice guy. This is the nice guy. This is in CPM 154. This one is the aluminum scales. And the reason why it's uh, CPM 154, because this is the one I got at Blade Show Atlanta when I was at the Kaiser event. And you'll see it's 11th anniversary, 11th anniversary. Really cool little knife, so pretty exciting. I gotta do a, a review on that knife because I very much enjoyed that knife a lot. All right, so we got some stuff in here. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? All right, so got some packaging. Ooh, we got a hat. That could be a good giveaway, I think. Very nice. I actually have one of these. I think it's similar to my hat. I don't know. We'll see. So let's put that off to the side for now. What else? Ooh, we have a few hats. Actually, wait a second. This is not the hat that I got. Oh, these are really nice. Well, there's three of them. So four of them. Well, maybe we'll do three giveaways. I might keep one because I don't think I have this one. The one I have is not this beautiful embroidery. Look, look at that beautiful embroidering on there. That's really nice. Very, very cool. All right, so then what else do we have in here? We have, ooh, some patches. I love patches. All right, this will be definitely for giveaways. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we got some stickers. Action fun, I like that, I like that. Ooh, look at that. Happy 4th of July. Some more stickers. Oh, these are definitely giveaway stickers for sure. Oh, I like these right here. Some more st uh, patches here, the 4th of July ones. Very cool. Very cool. We're going to leave those up here. Those are definitely some very, very neat stickers there. Looks like some of these are similar there. So that'll be future giveaways for sure. All right, then we have... I'll put that off to the side. Oh, we got uh, something in here. So... Ooh, all right, so this nice little pouch, very cool. What else do we have? Oh, we got more patches. Look at that Kaiser 11th Action for Fun. Yeah, I've got some of these. These are really cool. I keep kept one because it was one that I got actually got. Oh, the 11th anniversary uh, medals. Man, these are cool. Do I have mine up still here? I had my medal over here somewhere. Did I put it with the other ones? Yeah, I have a place where I keep my my. Um, I think these are challenge coins. Um, they're medals, challenge coins, whatever you want to call it. These are really cool. Very, very nice. Ooh, and then we got some Kaiser, some nice little clean cloths. Oh, this is nice, nice material too. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And then we have, it looks like a little pouch, probably for a knife or something, for sure. So that's nice, nice. What else do we have in here? All right, so we have another box and another uh, couple things in here. So let's take a look. All right. So in this one we have, ooh, what is this? All right. Huh, I've got to look that up. So, quickly, note that up there. So that I can focus in on this, I'm going to move these hats off to the side. And I'm going to move all this cool swag stuff for giveaways off to the side. Because I'd like to take a look at this knife. This looks pretty darn cool. All right, we'll put this off to the side over here in the patches. And then we've got a nice little pouch. All right, so let's see. Was there anything else inside of there? Nope. So, all right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so this is a cool little knife for sure. All right, titanium. It's got a nice kind of a kind of a very square look. It's very, it reminds me of that Russian design knife, the one that I have. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's got a fuller right there. What do we got here? S35VN blade steel. Nice big lanyard, deep pocket carry clip, like that. Nice bendable clip there as well. All right, so let's give it a flip and see how it goes. Ooh, nice Tonto satin finish with a nice fuller. So it's got a thumb hole and a fuller Kaiser blade here. So again, what is the name of the blade up here? I wish I knew off the top of my head. This is an unboxing, a first impression. I don't think I've, I've never handled this one. If I did, I don't remember. 
I like it. All right, so great cutaway for the lock bar. It does have an over travel stop and, and a steel bar insert that engages the tang. Looks like we're a good 50, 60%. No blade rock, no pivot play. Let's listen to that detent. Nice click, no detent lash in there. Pretty dead center, yeah, pretty dead center. I like the action, that's really nice. And that close action, oh, that's really nice. All right, all right, so you can catch it there. Let's see, where's that detent? So you clear the detent right there. So once you get past, let's see here. Yeah, right there. You clear the detent right there. So my thumb, if I catch it right there, I'm past that detent and it can just drop shut. That action's really smooth. Gotta admit, cage bot, it's gotta be caged bearings. I like the satin finish. It's definitely a Tonto flat grind. Um, you got a nice little point there, um, almost like a clip Tonto. I don't know what you want to call that because it's this is not really a drop point. It's 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 got an angle up here, and so to me that would be a clip point. It's not quite a Bowie because it's not cut out, so it's like a clip tanto. We call it a clip tanto. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't know if that's official, but hey, you know we're going to make up the name. The action's really nice, really really nice. This will definitely probably be a really nice giveaway for sure. But I'll have to do a little review. All right, so do we have the maker's mark here? Beyond. I wonder is this Beyond EDC or something? Hmm. All right. So there's the maker. Again, we'll have the, the name of the brand up there. Name of the knife. I like the action. All right. So nice. No super sharp edges up there. It's got enough of an edge to get your finger in there. Easy to drop and carry. It's really easy to open. I do like that. So you can always open a knife like that, right? Let's see. Let's do this left-handed. Put the, uh, So, yeah, okay. You hold it up high. As long as you don't put any pressure on that lock bar, opens up really, really nice. If you put a little pressure on the lock, can I do it back here? Let's see. Yeah, I can. As long as I don't get any pressure up there. Let's see, can we do the clip? Yeah, you can do the clip. You just got to get in there. Got to get in there right here. Oops. Hold on. Got to get in. Uh, well, it's going to definitely be easier going up high. So captive pivot. Looks like T8 hardware. T8, T8. That's nice. T8 everywhere. All right, so the hardware for the steel bar insert is inside, uh, nice and rounded here. Excuse me one second. Kershaw. All right, I'm back. So nice and rounded. I, I, I do like that. A lot of hidden hardware. So you only need two screws, three screws on this side, one, no screws on this side. Really uh, flawless presentation side. I like that a lot. So this, it would, this was probably like one of the knives from the knife show. Man, this makes a great giveaway, guys. Come on. How awesome is that? Kaiser let me to check this out, knife out, and then probably make this a giveaway. I'm going to consider, because I didn't see a note that said otherwise. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a note inside if, if it's otherwise, right? So really, really cool. That action is really, really nice. I mean, I, I honestly don't need to put skips in there. That's really stinking butterly, buttery smooth. I really, really dig that. Wow. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real easy to flip top up there. Thumb works really well. I like that. Not a lot of nice action getting in there. And then the cutout, it has chamfering on here, but it's easy access, so you're not having to push, and it's very easy to disengage. It's not one of these where it's uncomfortable and you can't get your finger in there because there's a nice, it's cut away up here like that. So that makes that really nice. I like the chamfering over here because it gives you a nice presentation. You can choke up pretty good. And so I have large hands, right, with big meaty fingers. Plenty of room for extra large, double extra large hands. If you have extra large hands with regular size fingers, you probably bought this grip. Double extra large hands with thinner fingers, you brought this grip, right? So that's pretty cool. I can go all the way down here. Definitely use this as a nice finger guard. You can choke up on there. With this, obviously, you can do a nice pinch grip with that little Tonto blade. Now, it does have a little, you know, round. It's not necessarily straight. So I'm still going to call it Tonto because it's a very distinct point to me. So very nice for cutting and what have you there. I think that's really, really stinking cool. Again, that action is just really dynamite. Really, really, really dynamite. Yeah, this is a nice fidgety little knife. Now, it doesn't have multiple deployments, but boy, that, that, that thumb hole, fuller hole is really nice. Really nice. And you can get down low, right? You can get your finger inside that and get a nice flick as well. You can, go up, you can even go a little bit high if you wanted to. It all depends. I can actually use the thumb over there. Really nice. Left hand, it works really well. Over here, just you know, you just want to make sure your thumb is up here. And because it's nice and cut away down here, it's real easy just to put your thumb up there, kind of get get access to it. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. 
So let's look at that blade shape. So we do have it looks like a pretty even blade. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, the milling is not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Pretty even straight across. That's that's impressive. That's impressive. Now, I, I wonder if it's been sharpened a few times because it's probably been displayed. Let's feel how sharp that is. It's still pretty, pretty crazy sharp. That's nice. That is nice. I like that. I like the polish in here, satin finish on top. The jimping extends nice out quite a bit, so you get some good presentation. Now, this jimping does work. You put a little pressure, it'll definitely hold you. It's not as aggressive as some other jimpings. Some people may not like it. They would maybe want more aggressive jimping, but I don't like too aggressive jimping. This is sort of almost like a gentleman carry, if you will. It's kind of a cool looking, uh, very angled circuitry sort of uh, industrial kind of knife look. I like that a lot. I really do. I like that look, it, but it's got nice angles, nice angles, nice chamferings. It makes it comfortable. Like right here, the chamfering and right here, it gives a real comforting, comfortable uh, kind of grip on there. You don't feel like you're, you're digging into anything sharp. This is nice and rounded around here, so that's not digging in. So let's do the squeeze test. Yeah, surprisingly, there's nothing in there. Even this is not super critically sharp. A lot of times that can be sharp. I like that this is away from here so that you know, you're know you not dealing with this ripping into your pants. That's really cool. Now, if you're a lanyard fan, obviously a nice, big, generous lanyard. So for you guys who love lanyards, there you go. Um, man, that's nice. So the carry is going to be pretty deep carry. It's not ultra super hidden, but it's very deep carry. I think that's really nice. I like that for sure. Yeah, so we're going to do a full review on this knife. I think this is definitely worth checking out. Man, I am sorry. I don't know this knife. So, again, if not, it's going to be down in the description, obviously, right? Talk a little bit more about this knife. This is definitely a cool one. I like it. I like it. So, Beyond, I suspect this is the designer. I don't know what Beyond stands for. Uh, I said Beyond EDC. I don't know if that's correct or not. So, I honestly don't know. Okay, so a lot of little things I've noticed here. The chamfering was done really well here. There's a lot of little details to me that really, as angled as this is, this could be a very uncomfortable knife. It really, honestly, it could be. I see people do this to try to look cool and edgy, and, and yeah, it looks cool, but once you get in your hand, you're like, oh, this is so uncomfortable. This is not, this is not, that's what I'm really kind of blown away by. Because, I don't know. So it's not me blowing sunshine up your nose because look, look at the chamfering, the details you see here. Chamfering all the way around here. These are things I notice. Anytime I, I, I get asked to look at prototypes, sometimes you'll see me have the review on the prototype. Sometimes I won't even share the prototype review because it's, you know, just somebody asking me, what are your thoughts? How would you improve this? You know, what would you do? And they're private, right? They're in the middle of designing a knife. And so I'm going to help. Maybe it, maybe it becomes a knife. Maybe it doesn't, you know, and, and there are things you got to think about. Uh, I personally think about, because a lot of, for me, a knife is, is about, it can look nice, but it's got to got good ergonomics. It's got to have great action. It's got to be functional for what your intended purpose is, right? You want this to be an everyday carry. Some, someone's going to use and enjoy. The action is great. Action is really solid, man. I, I am yeah, I, I'm I'm very impressed. Oops, I hit the ground there. <laughs> my my mat there. I'm very impressed with that. I really, really am digging that. That's 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 really cool. Yeah, so Kaiser, man, thank you for letting me check check this out. And I'm assuming, um, we'll find out, I'll confirm, but uh, I'm assuming this is gonna be a giveaway knife. This is really nice. This is really nice. I like this. I, I really wish I knew which one this one was. I don't know all the Kaiser brands. They have a lot of knives. They really do. There's a few that I'm very, very interested in from my personal collection. I don't think I checked this out because I really like the action. This is one of those really nice surprises, right? You get a chance to check it out. It's really, really cool. That is super stinking awesome. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Action is just really fantastic. All right, very cool. Well, thank you so much to, to Jeremy and to Kaiser over there. All you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm one of my favorite knives that I actually got from... Where, where, where's, my little, where's my little buddy? Where's my, there he is. I have really, really enjoyed this nice guy one. I feel like this is a design that just needs to be made into a premium knife. This finger choil, this whole grip up here, it just feels really nice. And the action is beautiful. I put skiffs on this thing and made this thing even more beautiful super fidgety the jimping goes all the way around so I, i've really been very impressed with my experience with a lot of kaisers lately so i'm 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 super excited to check this out man this is definitely up my uh, my alley the aesthetic everything i really noticed a lot of things on here love the tanto love the satin finish love the captive pivot the t8 hardware i love the chamfering very 
key chamfering everywhere. You can see it even here. I mean, let's, you know, I didn't do my up close. We got to do an up close here. Let's look at this blade up close. So here's the satin finish on that blade. Minimal um, display it does say Kaiser on there. And then over here, it's the designer, very minimal. Um, you do know it's S35VN, I believe, where does it say that on here? Yeah, right there. So very minimal uh, um, um, billboarding with the, the blade steel, but a nice tanto shape, nice flat grind. It's not super, super thin, but it's not a thick slice. It's not a thick one. So you definitely can get some good slicing in with this. I think this would definitely do well. Then you've got the, the uh, handle shape here. And a lot of things I've noticed is the chamfering going all the way around. Big chamfering spots, which gives you a nice grip. Little chamfering points where there could be some sharpness. I like that. Chamfering all the way around here. Even the clip. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. I got to, I like uh, Giant Mouse. I do. But their clips always come in and they're super sharp on the edge. There's no sharpness. I can hold this in hand. Yeah, it's not going to dig in. They always have like a little sharp point and it digs in, causes a blister. And to me, so if you're going to do a lanyard, you got to make sure that has some co contoured on there. Now it is nice because it's it's got some jimping on the backside. So if you were to do a push cut, so you can do a push cut like that, you can grip grip it there, right? So that's really nice on on the on the backside there. So like I said, all that nice jimping. You've got the steel bar insert, nice lock up here. All this is chamfered all the way around inside. There is some nice weight relief. You can see that inside. So this does bring a little lightness to the to to the blade overall. Nice back spacer all the way back there with a the beautiful jimping. I like that. All right, so let's look at the back here. The clip is really nice, and you notice the chamfering all the way around. Chamfering around here, key areas again. To me, these are important things, especially here where the lock bar is. It's real easy to miss this chamfering right here. Typically, that's a super sharp spot, and if you're doing a lot of cutting hard work, that'll cut you. Make it very uncomfortable. Chamfer it all the way around here, and then we have the blade over here with a minimal designer logo right there, which I think is nice. Uh, I like this beautiful fuller hole. Uh, um, thumb hole, whatever you want to call it, right? I like the three pattern. You got an angle here, angle here, and then an angle up here for the satin finish. And then at the top, you see that beautiful shimp, uh, uh, jimping all the way across. It comes out, extends pretty far out. So, I mean, you can get your thumb out there on that jimping. That's, that's really nice. I like that. All right. Let's look at the knife overall on design here. Get a nice picture of this beautiful tanto shape. I think it's pretty cool. I do like that. And let's look at the back here. Nice design there as well. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, what do you all think about this one? What do you think? I, I think it's pretty cool. You guys probably know what this knife is. Some of you guys probably already own this, I'm sure. If you don't, you should. This is really cool. I'm digging this one. This one's pretty cool. All right, so there's the Kaiser knives. Thank you again to Kaiser for allowing me to check this out. I think it's stinking cool. I thank you for the the swag that I'll be able to do some giveaways. I appreciate the after extra gift bag. I can put my knife in that, or we'll just give that as a giveaway, I guess. But I mean, I don't quite have a bag for this one, but I could put put it in there if I wanted to. But I really enjoy this knife. I carry this. I use it around my desk a lot, and it's meaningful because it's it was given to me from going to that dinner. So I just I really appreciate that. Right. Likewise here, this is a really cool knife. I'm going to guess Kaiser is really good on prices, but this is a well-made knife. S35BN blade steel. I'm going to guess the materials, you could easily be around the $200 range, but I suspect it's probably going to be less than that. Might be $170 to $140, I'm guessing. I'd love to see it if I'm wrong there, maybe even less, but I'm, I'm going to guess $140 to $170. I could be wrong. I'm not an expert when it comes to Kaiser. I don't know their knives well enough, but I'm guessing here because I'm, I'm assuming that they have some great budget, you know, great cost on this one, but it feels like material that would be around there. I could easily see that price, right? At least that's my experience. I could be wrong. And you guys obviously can correct me. There'll be a link down below as well uh, to the knife uh, on the Kaiser website, obviously. And uh, then you can take a look at there. Um, the link will actually be my affiliate link. So if you decide to buy it directly from Kaiser, they have some great sales going on, by the way. You should get, check it out. Sign up for that. Yeah, help, help, out the, help out my channel if you wouldn't mind using the affiliate link when you buy some of your stuff, man. That would be really cool of you. So thank you. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or entertaining, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out the channel, allows the channel grow, produce more things, do more content, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you to everyone who watches the videos, who enjoys the videos, who is on the live stream, who actually likes the videos, and, and then even subscribes. I sure appreciate you guys so very much. And if you haven't already, hit that notification button 
button down there below as well. You can be notified of future content like this video. And a big shout out, thank you to all my channel members out there. You know who you are. I am so appreciative of you guys. You allow this channel to do things sooner than I ever thought we'd be able to do. So I'm very grateful to you guys. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, as a small way for me to say thank you to all the channel members, I do a once a month members giveaway. I usually try to make it a pretty exclusive, pretty cool knife for the giveaway. Something, you know, that's kind of extra special, not just a little budget giveaway. So, you know, keep an eye out for that uh, if you're a channel member. And if you you thought, hey, I'd like to become a channel member, it'd be kind of, kind of cool. Or maybe you're on the edge or maybe you were a channel member. You'd like to sign up again. I'd love to have you. I'd be honored. Don't ever feel obligated to, but I would be honored. Uh, there is a link down in, below in the description for three different tiers. And as a way for me to also to say thank you, a second thing I do, all brand new channel members, I'll send you a sticker. All right. And if you've been a channel member for a while and you've never asked for a sticker and you're a channel member right now, I'll send you a sticker as well. And if you were a channel member before and then lost your membership and got it back, either because you signed up or you were gifted it and you're a member right now, email me as well. If you've never received a sticker, I'd love to mail you a sticker. Uh, I just need your name and address, right? That's my, my other small way to say thank you and just to show how much I appreciate you guys. Again, thank you. And if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Y'all have a great day and a great week. Bye.